All right, so we're back, and I am turning this video around quick for you guys. You wanted it. I wanted to make it. And of course, we're talking about one of the leaders of the Ministry of Missing Hair Follicles. Logan Paul has now decided to spar a Gronkowski. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, wait a second, Logan decided he was going to spar the super athletic tight end for the Super Bowl winning Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Ah! Not quite. Instead, Logan is sparring the other four brothers of the Gronkowski family. But before we see Logan mow straight through for the Gronkowski brothers, it looks like he needs to mow straight through some of that hair he's magically grown out of nowhere. And speaking of mowing straight through messy hair, I bring you today's sponsor for this video, Manscaped. Ladies and gentlemen, we have breaking news. The top level engineers at Manscaped have finally released their latest creation to save humankind from their hairy mess that is the Lawn Mower 4.0. If you're like me and you let that lawn below grow a little too long, the 4.0 has you covered. For one, the Lawn Mower 4.0 gives you the ability to turn the 4000K LED spotlight on and off whenever you need a precision shave. And the new trimmer even allows you to customize your trim all over through additional guard length sizes one through four. Oh, and did I mention the Lawn Mower 4.0 is also waterproof and has a new wireless charging system that helps that battery last as long as you do. So guys, if you're still grooming your face with your ball trimmer, it's time to make some changes. Get 20% off and free shipping when you use code WADEConcept at manscaped.com. Again, that's 20% off and free shipping when you use code WADEConcept at manscaped.com. Thank you to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. Unlock your confidence and always use the right tools for the job with Manscaped. Logan Paul spars four untrained brothers of a high-level athlete, four money and views. Let's go. So warm up the ass kicking with Floyd Mayweather. You want to get your ass kicked by the football? Ah, yeah. Oh, stop. No, that's not what's going to happen at all. Logan is not going to get his ass kicked by four guys that have never boxed in their life after training for three years. Okay, they're big, they're strong. It does not matter. This is the same thing I told you guys about Logan's chances against Floyd. Just because he's big and strong and has all these biceps and his titties are bouncing, it doesn't mean that he's going to win this fight. All right, so we got track athlete Gronk here. We got monster energy Gronk. Uh, it looks like we got... Okay, what the fuck is this? So Grillmaster Gronk here has the rainbow colored glasses on and the baby chain. Uh, yeah, they're jacked up dudes, but again, none of it fucking matters. All right, they touch up. Logan right hand to the body right away, super long. I don't think he's gonna be afraid of these guys in the least bit. So I don't know if we can necessarily like critique Logan's technique for Floyd. I hope Logan's not gonna come in super over lunging right hand with his lead hand on his kneecap. This is probably more him kind of throwing caution to the wind technique wise, but I've said this to you guys, you practice how you fight. So if he gets into these habits, and we know that he's got some bad ones already, it would be very unwise heading into the Floyd Mayweather fight. But he lands a right hand to the body. Big right hand lands right there. Nice right hand behind the ear. Boom, right there. Nice weight transfer. Again, he's really not caring about this. I mean, he again, he doesn't feel threatened at all by these guys, but big right hand, though, behind the ear that lands flush. Another one. Uh, again, zero reaction out of the non-boxer. Is anyone surprised? Okay. What is this? What in God's name is this? This just shows you that these guys shouldn't be in there with Logan. I know it's for entertainment, whatever. I don't give a shit. They, they shouldn't be in there. Logan is a highly trained fighter. If you think he's letting his foot off the gas pedal, watch what happens if he puts one of these guys in danger. I bet he tries to drop him. I bet he does. Big right hand. Guy turns on the ropes. Logan keeps firing off. Yeah, Logan wasn't trying to knock him out with that shot. 100% not trying to, right? 100% wasn't trying to knock him out with that right hand. This is, this is stupid. <laughs> oh, you hear Logan say it. This is stupid. <laughs> Logan's absolutely right. This is stupid. He puts this video out to show everybody, look, I can beat up on people. I'm strong. I'm powerful. Logan's not holding anything back. From that last exchange, you can see Logan is trying to hurt these guys. But the video shows me not that Logan is getting better, not that he's a great boxer, but almost the opposite has taken place. It shows me that Logan is kind of plateaued in his skill set. He's still throwing the same shots. He's still dropping his lead hand with no concern about what's coming back at him. These guys won't do it, but Floyd will. Logan hasn't gotten any better, but in fact, he stayed the same and possibly even regressed. All right, second guy in. Logan pawing with the lead hand. Trying to get inside, he's gonna jab to the body. There it is. It's a nice jab. Oh, this guy wants to throw back with him though. Look at this. I love the happy feet from this guy. 
He throws a right hand back. Logan, again, shields with the jab. He lands his. The right hand over the top doesn't make it. Right? <laughs> Kills me. Lands that one. That's good. Slides, runs out of the way. Logan tries to, to do the, the Jake Paul special. The check left hook off the right hand. He sees it, tries to throw it, misses his left hook, but comes back with a right hand of his own. That lands. Jab to the body. Oh my God, is that real? The short right hand across the temple puts the Gronkowski brother down. Again though, something you're not supposed to be doing in the boxing realm the collar tie right here you guys see this this is reminiscent of the ksi second fight right the collar tie that logan continues to grab on guys this is not illegal if you can get away with it it's fine but logan here has a collar tie bangs the right hand over the chin it's a nice shot man he lands it short right hand and puts him down in headgear I don't know what that is, that sheesh thing. Uh, it's it's something that the kids are doing now, the TikTok kids. I don't know what that is, but I guess sheesh. All right, so let him keep going. Not a big fan of that. Tries to land. Oh, barely missed that right hand as he slips off the line. That's good head movement to slip off the center line. I'd rather him keep his eyes up though as he throws that. Nice, slip out of the way of the uppercut. Tries to counter. Slips the uppercut. Jab. Touches, right hand, parried. And then Logan tees off and the guy quits. Why are they doing this? Who, this who cares? Why are they doing this? Who the fuck cares? Nice, Milton. Yeah, who the fuck cares that you're a three-year trained boxer beating up on guys that have never put gloves on? Who cares? Who gives a shit? Fuck it. Brain damage, brain damage. No one gives a fuck. No name Gronkowski brother number three. Here we go. All right, Logan again, trying to parry the lead hand. Logan wants you to throw, right? And, and if this is the strategy versus Floyd, that'll be interesting. Logan looks like he wants to counter. He wants to play counter fighter here. Again, I don't know if he's going to do that to Floyd. I would assume as the rounds go on, Floyd is going to walk him down. But from what I've seen in the first two times and now here with this third brother, Logan wants to go second. And when he does go second, he goes all in and he's throwing combinations wild as fuck. But it looks like he wants to counter punch. Logan throws a nice hook. A little left hook, right hand. Boom, boom. Lands that one clean. Look at the happy feet. <laughs> Do we need to know more about how much these guys can't box? I mean, they're, they're going like pitter-patter, tap dancer, happy feet because they just don't know how to sit still. There's no patience. There's no composure. And Logan, again, trying to flex his ability against guys that don't even know how to stand or throw shots. Like, what are we doing? All right, so I can't exactly see this one. It looks like a left hook that puts the guy down. But guys... Just watch Logan go brawl for all here. This isn't technical striking. Look, just winging shots. Look at where this left hook comes from. Left hook from the hip. That one's partially blocked. Right hand. Now this left hook again comes from the hip. And if you guys think, by the way, that all oh, Logan's not showing his true technique, he's doing this to fool people, to pull the wool over your eyes, he's absolutely not. And I'll say this because I've seen Logan train, I've watched him spar, I've watched him hit the bag. He looks the same all the time. As True Jordy once said, I love this quote, Logan looks like he's swinging handbags in a bingo hall. And if you don't believe me, let's just take a look at him hitting the bag in the most recent footage I could find. So this is Logan hitting the heavy bag. I'm gonna go in 0.5 speed, just because it's such a short clip. And we're gonna see, is Logan just doing this for the cameras too? Look at how he's hitting the bag. No regard for any defensive responsibility. This right here is always how Logan looks. Now, I understand he's at the end of his round here in training and he's probably burning out on the bag and just trying to get the round over and throwing rapid fire punches, but there's no technique here. None. He's just winging out shots with no ability to protect himself. Even on the mitts here. Look at the inability to, again, bring the hands up. Everything firing from the hip. Right hand straight. Where's the left hand? You can't see it because it's at his hip once again. Left hook. Where's the right hand? By his hip. Straight right. Where's the left hand? Because this looks exactly like this. Jumping in, swinging, winging, shots. It looks exactly like that. That's how Logan fights at this point. There is no changing it. It's just how he fights. Right hand to the body. Gets touched on the top of the head with the jab here. You, you got to be careful, Gronk. You can't take the hair plugs out of Logan's head. He worked all 2020 for those hair plugs. 
Jab lands. Now look, Logan makes the read. As an experienced boxer would, he's seen that jab twice. The head slips on the outside. That's the best technique I've seen Logan have in this entire spar. Jab, he slips this one. Still touches him, but it's the next one. Slip, boom. Uppercut, it misses, but that's a good technique. And then he comes forward off of that. Again, this guy doesn't turn and face. He's on the ropes. Logan has the right hand cocked and ready. Clips him on the chin. Rob gets in. I love the tough guy act that Logan and Jake pull when they have non-boxers in front of them with zero training and they're teeing off on them like they're on a par five at Pebble Beach. This is sipping a little bit of the Kool-Aid and people telling you how good you are and you start to believe it when you basically are punching crash test dummies. Again, it's just more charging in. He doesn't feel threatened at all. Level change, lead hand replaces switch stance uppercut because now his right hand becomes his lead hand as he runs into range, right? Left hook over the top. He's off balance here. Again, Floyd just moving with that momentum and then stepping off the center. Could really put Logan in some, some trouble here. I don't think he'll do something like this to Floyd though. He just doesn't respect anything these guys are giving him. The way he throws shots won't change, but his strategy has to. Yeah, and he wails on the guy in the corner. And yeah, no, forget that. What are you for that? 2,500 miles, huh? Logan says he traveled 2,500 miles for that. Now, Logan could have traveled 2,500 miles to, I don't know, spar an actual boxer, even an amateur one, right? You could have done that and filmed it and put it out and had the same clicks. I mean, you're Logan Paul, 23 million subscribers. But if you were so disappointed in this spar and if you're so disappointed in the performances, why'd you put the video out? I don't think Logan's disappointed. In fact, I think he's really impressed with himself, as you saw throughout the spar with him clowning on the guys who had never boxed. All right, so if I am to break this down, we just really learned two things from Logan. And one is that he didn't feel threatened at all at any point in this spar. So he could loosen up and do some things that he probably won't do against Floyd. You'll see probably a more timid Logan Paul looking to use his speed and head movement up top to try to counter Floyd. Again, it's not the greatest strategy because once Floyd starts walking you down, it's a never ending saga. And the second thing is that Logan is not getting any better. I think Logan is regressing in his technique. I think he's ignoring some of his technical flaws to focus more on his own perceived speed and power advantage that he thinks he holds over Floyd. And that will be in his mind, the main factors of the fight. In actuality, the things he's ignoring are the keys to beating Floyd, being technically sound, not overextending, not over lunging, not staying in the pocket too long for Floyd to be able to read and counter. Those things come from technical prowess and it seems like he's continuing to ignore it. So there you have it. The titty bouncing, balding brawler, Logan Paul knocks out four untrained guys to plant that seed in the minds of you guys that he has a real chance against Floyd because he knocked out the Monstars from Space Jam 1. Will Logan Paul find a way to pull the upset on the old man Floyd? Or will Floyd Mayweather get out of his wheelchair, take his Metamucil, and finally put an end to Logan Paul's boxing career? Guess we'll find out.